Hey, this is Leah and Kat Ashley, and we are at Fan Expo 2015. We just got hands-on with Rainbow Six Siege. Now, Kat, this is the second time you've gotten to play the game. How was it different from when you tried it at Montreal Comic Con? Yeah, well, the first time I played it, it was uh, against other players, and we got our asses handed to us, so the experience was, was fun, yet not pleasant, but this time we got to play against AI, so that like changed the game considerably, especially for myself. It kind of acted as a buffer to ease the learning curve. So rather than, you know, have to be one-on-one -on -one with other humans, this was against AI, so they were a bit less quick. And also, I'm not normally a much of a fan of objective-based first-person shooters. And this one was really fast-paced, which I felt like it, it changed the enjoyment of the game. Also, they're the basic first-person shooter controls, so that was easy to learn. Uh, the game itself was quick to learn. The objectives were not complicated. And communicating this team was really awesome. So it was honestly a fantastic experience, and I can't wait to play it again. And you, Leia, how did you feel as a person who's never played it before? I agree. The objective-based shooter thing really makes it an easy learning curve, especially for someone like myself. <laughs> as many people know, I am not a shooter player <laughs> and working as a team made my lack of skills more effective because people would tell me what to do and things would work out. <laughs> we actually won. I was the one that got to defuse the bomb. Also, one feature that I only saw in trailers was the rappelling up and down buildings. It was bloody smooth and hanging from the rope upside down, shooting into the building was seriously satisfying. Yeah, I found actually that part was really good. Uh, even the vaulting, I felt it was very responsive. Like normally you have to like button mash sometimes and it's like, oh, it's not going up, it's going up. This time went up and switching positions because sometimes you'd be able to turn around and like lean into the window and it was responsive and I really appreciated that. So yeah, we're super excited to play the beta, which is coming out very soon and uh, full game. Full game's coming uh, in December.